Alright guys, Fletch from All Things Overlanding here. On today's gear review, I'm going to be talking about the Texport 6-piece cooking set. Um, I recently picked this up for a reason. Previously, this is my last U.S. bags, Happy Camper. Uh, I use this to keep all my cookware and stuff like that in it. I love this thing. It's awesome. And everything seems to fit really well. Um, but here's the cookware that I was using previously. So I've got two of these old backpacking sets, right? They're really, really tall. They're really crappy, they're pretty beat up at this point. I mean, I've definitely used them a lot. Um, but so they're just, they're not non-stick at all. So everything sticks to them, they're a mess to clean up. Uh, they've just had kind of a rough life. And I bought them back in the day because they were inexpensive. These are about 20 to 25, 30 bucks for a set of these. Um, they usually come with like the plastic little bowls and some other kind of useless stuff. And then this is my newer other one that I've got. So similar, I mean, almost identical design. You know, a pot and a pan, but again, not non-stick at all, more intended for like backpacking. They are super light and they're very, very small, which actually can make it kind of difficult. If you've got like a can of chili or vegetables or something like that, it pretty much fills one of those pots up. Um, so I run out of room pretty frequently. They're messy to clean up. They're inexpensive. They're kind of beat up. I've had them for a long time. So that's why I picked up this set. Um, this set has non-stick coating on the inside of all these things. Inside of here, there's this little strap that holds this all together. You can pop off and it comes with this little carrying bag, which is nice. Um, but you get basically the, the pans serve as lids for the pots, which is kind of nice. So it lets you stack them all up into a pretty small container. So you've got these three little pans. You've got one handle, which one of the complaints that I've read about is a lot of people would like to have a second one because you can only pick up one thing at a time if you're cooking two things at once. It's a little bit of a pain to have to keep swapping the handle, you know, back and forth. but does have this little sort of handy handle that as you tighten it down then it grips onto the side of the pot um, and then you've got you know comparably sized pots as well so you've got a big one a medium sized one and then a small one right um, again all of these are non-stick coated on the inside though so for cleanup I feel like especially when you're kind of restricted and you're out in the woods and you're using like a three gallon or six gallon or seven gallon container of water with not a lot of pressure or no pressure a lot of the times to clean these things out that's gonna make a huge difference in the way that I cook so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, also, I like that I get six of them, right? So again, I have two full sets here that I bought previously. So this is probably about 50 bucks worth of stuff. This is also 50 bucks worth of stuff. These don't stack up. They aren't non-stick. They're pretty crappy quality, right? Um, and they just, even though they're slightly smaller in on their own, because I have to carry two of them even to have four containers, right? Which, again, these pans are pretty useless. Like this thing is smaller than the small one here. And that's the smallest of the Texport ones. There's just not a lot of functionality to be had with these. And again, the cleanup is just a nightmare. So that was my thinking with this and why I replaced it with this. One thing that I will say from a quality standpoint on this is this does feel very thin. And one of my subscribers on Facebook, when I mentioned that I was looking at this, um, they said that they had had this set too and that to them it seemed very thin. So I'm going to have to be careful that I don't dent it up or, or destroy them somehow, dropping something on them or dropping them. Um, so you have to be a little bit careful with them because of how thin they are. But again, for the price, for about 50 bucks, it's about the same as two of these crappy cheap sets. Um, so I figured I'd give them a try. So, you know, this is the first time that I've ever taken them out. I'm going to be camping this weekend. So I'm going to use them and I'm going to let you guys know kind of my, my final thoughts on them after I get a chance to use them. But just wanted to kind of show you guys the features of it, talk a little bit about why I replaced my old ones with these, and why for like an overlander this might make sense. They're a little bigger. So they don't fit in my bag anymore, which is a downside. But if you've got room in your rig, you've got a dedicated spot. I'm actually keeping these in, in my drawers. There's a little spot that's just perfect for them. They fit in there just perfect. I'll show you here in a second. But so they fit right in my drawers, which is really nice. That way I always have them. I don't have to worry about forgetting them or leaving them at home. Um, but I can't wait to use them. I'm, I'm excited to test out the non-stick stuff. I'm excited to cook stuff in bigger pots and pans. And I'm excited that they all fit into one, you know, one single container. And then when you're done, you put them all back together. You can strap your strap to the, the handle sides on the side to hold them all together. Put it back in your bag and you're good to go. So again, thanks for watching. I hope that that gives you a little bit of information on it, lets you kind of see what these things look like, um, and kind of gives you a good comparison from like the old style, cheap backpacking uh, pots and pans to this newer, non-stick, slightly nicer kit. Um, there are some that are two, $300 for like full overlanding style kits. 
someday I may upgrade to something like that. For me, I'm mostly a solo camper, so this made sense for now. Um, so again, there'll be a link in the description to this thing. Uh, if you're interested in buying it, click through that link and go get yourself one. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. What are you guys using? What is your, what does your kitchen setup look like? So post up in the comments, let me know what you guys use. Let me know what your setup is. Let me know if you have, have had these before and have had good luck or bad luck. And let me know if you've got something that you like better because of course I'm always checking out new gear. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.